Victoria Brown Marshall at the fifth Champagne Awards reception of the Law and Policy Group Incorporated. Well, I'm so pleased to be here and I'm so glad that we have all of these people coming in to enjoy themselves and celebrating not just our honorees but our presidential victory. Wonderful, thank you, thank you. This has been such a wonderful experience. As you see, we have so many things to celebrate. And we love our American colors, yes. as well as our other colors, so that we can mix them together and we're having a wonderful African-American American experience today. <laughs> My name is Gloria Brown Marshall, and I am the founder and director of the Law and Policy Group. And I say thank you and greetings and ashe to all of you who are here today. We are so pleased to be able to celebrate our honorees, to celebrate the wonderful contributions that they have made to our community. And when I I'm grateful on tonight because I did not have to be an honoree. However, I was selected and I appreciate it. I have been honored before by numerous different organizations, but I tell you I was ecstatic when I found out that people who know where I'm coming from and who can understand what it means to want more for someone that you don't even know but because you understand that if you can provide them with more education, they too can strive above whatever it is that's surrounding them. And I appreciate the opportunity to stand before you tonight. As I said before, I'm thanking my mom, Miss Iris Tucker, she's here tonight, and <laughs> my mentor, Dr. Louis Blade Rosado, and many of my young people who are here. Um, I couldn't do it without them as well as Sister Cynthia Cole from my church. A lot has been invested in me, and again, without all of these different contributions towards me, I wouldn't be able to give more of myself to the young people that I serve. I'll continue to do it, and I hope I can make you proud and I can move forward. Thank you. It will be 389 years since Jamestown. So it took us almost 400 years to get what we were given on Tuesday. And it could not have happened if the people who gave of their time, talent, and talents um, did what they did for us to be able to accomplish what happened and on Tuesday. And Cooper versus Power was an incredible, I was there at the moment that it was conceived in that we could not get any of the elected officials, Congress people, to respond to us. And one of our members did an architectural um, over, uh, overlap and we could see for the first time that our little district, the 17th, was represented by five white Congress people. And at the moment the overlay was put down, everybody said, we're going to court. And we did, at great sacrifice. In fact, Andy and I put a third mortgage on our house to pay our part of the um, fees. But we never looked back. And the notion of volunteerism is so powerful. Barack could not have done what he did if there weren't armies of volunteers, black and white. And I also look to my Miss Harriet and know that she could not have done what she did if it hadn't been for white abolitionists who helped her to make those 19 trips that allowed for us 
her to emancipate, emancipate 300 people. And if we could do that kind of volunteerism now, everything that we experience could be wiped away. It's our way of saying thank you. But sisterhood is the rock that keeps us together. It's our privilege to be allowed to do what we do because it's interesting you would say standards. The nine African American women, and back then they were called Negro women, who on the campus of Howard University in 1908 chose to leave their homes from different parts of the world to come to DC. If you do a little math, and she said I was a CPA, so numbers mean a lot to me. There were very few Americans going to college in 1908, not to mention female women. And when they left Howard, six of them showed up here in New York to get their graduate studies at Columbia in 1912 and 1913. So standards have been with us always. Sometimes we kind of forget, but they are the things on which we were founded. They are the things on which we've been able to be blessed for 100 years. And in honor of our 80-day honoree, and the beauty also of coming to events like this is you learn so much. And education is a form of freedom that is permanent because as we all know, and as our founders showed us, an educated mind can never be enslaved. Okay. Today is November 6th, two days after one of the uh, most significant historical achievements in America since Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. We're here at the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture one of the most significant institutions in America. And I just want to personally thank the Law and Policy Group, and in particular, Gloria Brown Marshall, for the honor. I'm very proud to be a recipient of the James Baldwin Award, and I accept it with gratitude and a deep sense of humility. And I realize, however, it was the hard work on the staff of the New Federal Theater, and in particular, uh, the chairman of the board, Mr. Cliff Frazier, and I hope he's here. Yeah. And uh, my uh, company manager, Pat White, for their hard work and commitment to me and the New Federal Theater. You are always taught that you never sink to the level of your detractors. You know who you are, you know what you're supposed to do, and you know what your duty is in the world. Now, I could go on like this for an hour, but I'll spare you. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for all this. And thank you to the people, the people I see on the community. Where, where's Patty? The other thing I have to say about community. We took Harlem, and we wrote history here, because it was down, down, down. When we bought our house on 121st Street, they tried to discourage us. All of the lending institutions tried to discourage us and say, um, interest in other, other areas, even the South Bronx, uh, where we might be interested in doing. We said, no, thank you. Because when we opened the door, you could see the character of the architecture you knew that there were sleeping beauties like that all over the, all over the place. So, we, we, now that everything is lovely, now that we have lived through drugs, which the police ignored, and now we have put up with everything, that, that every negative thing you can think of, it's nice and pricey, here they come. <laughs> Okay. So